Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over something you guys absolutely have to be doing when recruiting in Dynasty mode. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep growing to 30K. We're almost at 26, so let's try to cross that threshold as soon as possible. When you're watching this, it may already have happened, which would be great news, but if it hasn't, Let's keep pushing. Like the video as always. Every like helps the channel grow. If you want to show support, the best you can do is quickly and free hit that thumbs up button. So I greatly appreciate it. Can we get 500 likes on this video? You guys have been killing it. We've come closer to a thousand, but 500 is a nice baseline. Comment down below if you have any other things to add to this video or other advice or general questions down below. As always, it goes a long way helping out the community down below as well as myself. And if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, and if you didn't know, I've mentioned in a few other videos, we are running an underdog fantasy draft right now, best ball. If you haven't already, go down below. My link will be there. The link to the actual best ball draft will be there. Sign up and compete against me in fantasy. It's going to be a super fun time. I'm going to run a lot of these throughout the season. So if you don't get into this one, it's fine, but make sure to join quickly before it fills up. And I will keep doing these throughout the season. I'll probably do at least four to six in the first few weeks to get a few going, but it'll be a super fun time. It's a pretty low barrier to entry, so it shouldn't be too much. But if you need any help joining or have any other questions, hit me up on Twitter or comment down below and I'll help you out. And also there's currently a Kelsey free pick on underdog. So make sure you sign up and go use that free pick. It's basically free money. If he gets more than half a yard, which is one yard in a game, you do automatically win that. It doesn't get easier than that. So make sure you go down below and use my code so you can get this free pick. Start with the basics. You're going to want to come to your recruiting board and start adding some players to your prospect list. Of course, this applies to any players in the league. But what I'm going to do is basically compare a few position groups to give you the best understanding of when recruiting, how to compare certain positions and the best way to maximize their potential and when drafting them. So a lot of times you can't really know what their potential is. But this is a great way to kind of see and control what you can control in the situation. So let's start with quarterback. I think that's the easiest one to do this on, but there will be quite a few. So we'll start with some of these five-star QBs and then let's go over to four stars. Maybe we'll add a few QBs here and then let's go over to running back and do the same thing. There is no five-star running backs on the board. We'll go over to wide receiver. So basically you want to add these players to your board during scouting week and then go ahead and start scouting them because you're going to see how important this is to do. So let's start with the QBs. You're going to want to go in and scout them. So basically when people have been asking me, right, there's so many things, there's stat caps, there's development traits, there's ratings. The only thing you could see off rip outside of the minor reader ability, and honestly, for the most part, 99% of the time is going to be stats. So people are drafting strictly based on stats for the most part, and assuming that kind of determines their future. And that's not entirely the case. And I'll go into why in just a moment here. So make sure you do go ahead and scout all of these. And I'm going to go through this. So if you haven't watched my other videos, you're going to want to watch that right after this one, which I'll link probably at the end of this video. And that's going to be my how to upgrade abilities video. That's going to be very important for you guys to understand the basics of this. I'll go through it to the best of my ability in here, but I don't want to overpopulate this video with that information. But make sure you do go ahead and watch that to kind of get a better grasp on what I'm about to go through. So as we go through, we're almost there. One sec here to finish these wide receivers off, and then we'll go through and compare. So let's go back to the quarterbacks now that we have them all scouted. And when you click on the quarterback, at first glance, you're going to look at this, right? Throw power, stats, speed. Okay, 92 throw power. He has good accuracy. He has decent speed. 92 throw power, bad speed. Okay, that first guy is probably the best one. Same thing here, 78 speed. I like the first guy. 83 speed. Okay, the first guy, right? So on and so forth. You're going to keep going through and just looking at speed and throw power. That's how most people evaluate quarterbacks. And that first guy far and away seems to be the best one. Now, when looking at this guy, this is something you're going to want to pay attention to. It's something I don't think a lot of people have tied to overall, and that's going to be their abilities. Now, you might be asking, right, how does abilities tie to overall? So a lot of people have been asking me how to upgrade abilities. Go watch my video on how to upgrade abilities. It'll give you a much better understanding than what I'm going to go through now. But basically, players use skill points to upgrade their abilities. It's a lot deeper than that, but there is a factor and method here that does apply to their maximum overall potential. So for instance, Let's say, let's compare one of the better quarterbacks here. So this guy looks pretty solid ability wise. And yeah, let's go with that one. So let's go with Bass. So if you look at the first guy here, all of his abilities are half silver and he has three bronze. This guy has two gold, two bronze, one silver. So gold is going to be the most expensive ability to upgrade. So if you guys don't know already, there's such thing called, there's such thing as skill points, right? And while you can't, I think since you can't use them, a lot of people haven't paid much attention to them. So let's go over to a player and show you how skill points work. And let's start with Nico right here, the quarterback for Tennessee. If we go over to physicals and you go look in general, right? This is what the ability screen looks like. This is what the mental ability screen looks like. And this is what the overall player screen looks like. He has elite development trade. If you look in the top right corner, all the way over there, you'll see that there's zero skill points. And below his name 87, there's a bar. 
when you fill up that bar you do accrue skill points how do you accrue skill points when filling up that bar you do it by playing the game earning xp with your player easiest way to earn xp both playing well and having a good development trait nico has elite this honestly works the best with star and elite players for for manually earning xp players below that will earn it at a much lower rate but the point here is earning those skill points is how you're going to upgrade abilities now you're going to be asking you don't see it right you don't see you don't see points you can't click anything here so to upgrade abilities the player does it themselves was like i said watch the video i go into i go into depth way more in that video but since they do upgrade it themselves and they use their skill points they will have to use a lot of skill points to get their abilities up so going back to this right going back to the going back to the prospect screen how does this apply to the stealing of a recruit so for instance i'm going to go through a few scenarios here that are very important so make sure you're listening pretty carefully right now let's compare the first quarterback again let's go back to it and let's go to their scouting report he has no goals right so if i had to guess just let me i'm gonna make up a fake scale for you let's say it costs three skill points to upgrade bronze six or seven for silver 12 for gold and 16 for platinum although he has quite a few silvers and it looks good up front for him to get these all to gold let's say it's seven 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 21 and then to get the other ones to gold it's going to be the seven plus the three you're looking at 41 skill points your player may only accrue 41 skill points across half their college career so let's say all things are equal let's say both these quarterbacks fast and molds are both 77 overalls let's just say you have two outcomes with him first outcome you start his career and let's say they both have star dev you start his career and you accrue 40 skill points with him over two seasons and he uses it all towards ratings He's, his abilities don't get upgraded, but he has a pretty high rating. That ends up being a quarterback with a high overall, with low abilities. He's pretty solid. Or he uses all 40 points towards abilities and doesn't upgrade his rating. And then you end up asking, and I've seen this in my comments, I have this guy with star dev. He's only 82 overall. He's not growing as fast as some other guys. It's possible he's been using them to upgrade his abilities, check out his abilities. And sometimes the skill points just seem to sit there for a while. I'm not entirely sure why, but they should be used eventually by the player. So with that being said, you end up in a situation where they have to decide between ratings or abilities or both and they end up never hitting their true ceiling now do keep in mind you can't upgrade mental abilities i know when i was adding the silvers before i was including the mentals but you do get five physicals so it's still the same concept that you can upgrade all the way assuming you have two bronze and three silvers but if you compare things all considered equal right now this guy bass has two golds already right let's say he had two gold physical abilities that would mean that those golds are basically near max tier and he wouldn't have to spend as much to upgrade bronze all the way up to gold or bronze all the way up to platinum he would only have to do the platinum jump here so this means that he off rip his abilities are pretty solid and he can and his overall is probably already starting at a pretty solid point now where this gets even crazier when recruiting is when you're comparing players with platinum as you see here we haven't gotten anyone that seems to have a platinum we'll go back into five star to show this in a second here let's add these first few guys on the board see if we can get one but basically when it gets really crazy is when you actually have platinum players because platinum is already maxed out so right here this guy's team player that is a mental ability so it doesn't show the same concept but we can just go forward with it right if you look at the platinum ability if he had platinum shore hands he wouldn't have to upgrade that so his ability is already at its ceiling so what that basically means is you're when you're recruiting you're recruiting for ceiling if you can get players with platinums and golds you don't have to worry about their abilities being upgraded just their ratings and the player themselves won't be so focused on upgrading abilities because if two are platinums and one's a gold or vice versa they only have a few abilities to upgrade and if they're bronze they may only cost them three points they can be purely focused on their rating at least we hope right and in general even outside of just the overall ceiling and other things this is so important for a few reasons for instance let's say your quarterback has normal dev he has normal development trait he's never going to accrue xp it's going to be very hard to get XP with that player. So while they may get good off-season boost, they may upgrade to an 84 in the off-season and get those other training boosts, etc. They're never going to get enough skill points to upgrade their abilities. So they're basically locked in at what you get. So if you have a player with two bronze abilities or you get a player that comes starting with zero physical, like they have no physical off rip because they're like a 73 overall, they may never accrue enough skill points to actually get abilities. So they're an ability abilityless player. And the other thing is, like I said, you're relying on EA's variants. You're relying on them to upgrade your abilities. So if you go for a guy like right here, shorthands, he has no other physicals, you're going to need EA to automatically upgrade the other four abilities to even unlock them. That's where this gets scarier is that you have to rely on them to unlock them. So if they don't ever unlock them or only unlock one, you might be stuck with a player with one ability. When you could have drafted another tight end or another wide receiver, right, that happens to already start with some abilities. 
so keep that in mind when drafting i feel like a lot of people have been just kind of overlooking it like oh abilities aren't that important like i said they're not the end all be all like they've been in other games like madden but they are very important from the fact is that you can't just get them you can't manually choose to just upgrade them if you want them so make sure you are focusing like the quarterbacks i'm looking very heavily at the at the abilities i if i have to take a little loss in speed or throw power like this guy right here option king team player road dog extender off platform he starts with them all i don't have to worry that he actually ends up upgrading them so you want to be so focused on abilities when 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 recruiting players i feel like everyone's been so focused for instance i had this three-star quarterback in my other league he was a three-star quarterback with 96 speed 96 throw power 80 plus accuracy that was and a gym that was steal of the year i was like that was my first league i was like wow that guy's gonna be insane he's gonna be a beast when i actually end up recruiting him and i look at him further all of his abilities are grayed out he has almost no mental abilities that are useful and all of his physical abilities are grayed out and he starts at like a 68 overall so although he can technically play he can throw really hard he can run he's super rattled he doesn't play well and those abilities i'm gonna have to wait quite a few seasons for him to hopefully maybe eventually upgrade them if he never upgrades his abilities and never gets what he needs he's never going to be a useful quarterback so don't be so focused on stats be more focused on green gems of course stars of course but most importantly take a look at their abilities it gives you a good idea of what they're going to be also you see a player with a bunch of platinum and golds they probably have a good dev trait or they probably have a high ceiling or they probably have high overall because remember these abilities are mostly tied to overall most tied to other things so if they have certain things you kind of have an idea for where their overall might be trending a player with no abilities like right here probably is slightly lower overall and if they're not they're just not unlocked and you're kind of screwed on that so make sure you are focusing on abilities when recruiting i feel like this hasn't been talked about enough but it kind of correlates a lot with the player ceiling their floor etc all right so just make sure you're focusing on that i i can't i cannot stress that enough you do not want a player that's locked out of abilities for their entirety of their career or a player that only upgrades their abilities and then you end up not getting the upgrade because a lot of people keep forgetting that the way the progression system works it's like three to four prongs there's dev trait there's stat caps there's what they get what they get recruited at there's their abilities that they use to maybe upgrade it there's so many different approaches there's coaching packages there's the off-season upgrade so i feel like everyone's been lumping them in but you got to look at them all as separate pillars that you need to work on so that the player can overall develop and a lot of it also is automatic and variance on EA's part. So if you do not focus on what you can control, you can control drafting players or recruiting players, I should say, that come with a lot of abilities. You can control that. What you can't control is drafting a guy with a high throw power and speed, and then just hoping you get the off-season upgrade, you get the abilities to automatically upgrade, and you get enough skill points with a good dev trait. Let's just say you draft a guy with a great speed and great throw power. He has normal dev trait. You don't have the upgrading in the offseason coaching packages and they don't end up upgrading their abilities. You may be locked with a low 70, mid 70 quarterback the rest of his career that never gets abilities. But that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys start focusing on this when recruiting. If you need any help or have any more in-depth questions, hit me up on Twitter, comment down below as always. Give the video a big thumbs up. If this helped you or taught you anything new. I do appreciate it. Can we get a thousand likes on this video? And of course, if you're new, subscribe. Stick around. We're posting videos about every day to every other day, depending on how the week goes. And yeah, if you haven't already, Underdog Fantasy League. If you want to join my fantasy league down below and compete against me in an NFL best ball league, my link will be down below to sign up and the link to join the draft will be down below. If you need any help, hit me up on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.